Previously on Final Strike! Your mission is to infiltrate Giga City. You are our final hope. I mean, we're good, but I don't know if we're that good. <sighs> are you two okay? X, use those stairs. Finders keepers for any goodies. Now, back to our show. <sighs> I did it! Trust me when trust me that when we get when we finish off the first boss in this uh, game, uh, everything will go much more faster and much more entertaining. It's always the part part ones or part zeros where it's not that interesting, and everything Here just goes. starts becoming like very dull and boring. But hopefully, uh, I'll start making videos again soon, and I can uh, like I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be posting this sometime in uh, in January of 2015. But uh, I'm pre I'm hoping that at, as soon as I post that up, I'm gonna start recording videos again. And that's that's what I hope uh, happens. But anyways, let's continue on. Let's just Charge pretty much shot. blow through these guys. Just use this. Now, yeah. I think in I think in the next fight that I do, uh, I'll I show off uh, X fires uh, uh, action trigger. Alright, on to the next room. Basically the same thing. Melt missile. Green uh green crystals will contain uh either weapons or sub weapons. Or basically tools. Uh, let's see, melt missile. Uh uses fifteen weapon energy, has stronger power or no, weaker power than uh the micro missile. But uh, adds a uh, lowering shield percentage. Uh, I think we'll take it. All right. Anyways, uh, let's continue on. All right. Disable security in area three, uh, floor west. Disabling signal not synchronized. Alright, this time we got, uh... More in, uh... Not really a big mix, but, like, more different types of enemies. Let's use Ma Melt Missile on here. And it reduces his shield. We got a little bit of damage out of him. I think after this, I'll use. Oh, right. I was gonna use a uh, uh, X Fire. Here goes nothing. I will say this. Just like a, uh, just like a uh, X Eight and X. Uh, not X. I don't think anything else had good voice acting. But basically, <laughs> oh no, actually, uh, Maverick Hunter X, X8 and Maverick Hunter X. Um, this game also has some pretty good voice acting. It's better than uh, X7s and better than Mega Man 8. So that's just one good thing to uh, that's one thing to one good thing that to uh, point out about this game. It actually fixes the problems, or at least tries to fix uh, the problems that the previous games had. Anyways. Uh, X, also, X Fire also has a charge shot kind of move, but instead it's more of a, a single uh, enemy use, where it basically attacks one enemy but does ran, uh, rapid hits on him. And it does a lot of damage, if, as you saw there, it did a uh, thousand damage. Usually most enemies either do around a hundred or uh, two hundred uh, for stronger. I think they get even stronger to like three hundred, uh, but that's as far as I saw so far. Then again, this enemy is really weak, so that, that probably doesn't help uh, the case. Um, it's just like, oh, I missed. Now, one thing I don't know is how uh, health works uh, when you when you're in uh, X Fire form. I don't know if it. Uh, oh, I keep missing. I don't know how it works as in like. Uh, the damage that you take transfers over to your regular mode, or basically uh, 
uh, normal mode. But I don't know. It also uh, the game also warns you uh, of how much levels you have left or uh, turns you have left on for the uh, the ability. There we go. That's one out. There we go. All right. Got through that. I did it. We got a gain hyper. I believe that uh, does not increase your hyper uh, mode. I don't think it's even possible to increase your uh, hyper hyper uh, limit. But uh, this door has been locked to maintain security. But uh, actually, I know I know what we're, what we're missing. There's a door right here we can take. Jeez, look at, look at that lit. You can see that it, it goes from X to uh, enemy three, enemy one, enemy two, enemy four, enemy three, enemy one, enemy, four, enemy two. I think um, when you use your uh, action trigger, you're ba you basically slow yourself down or uh, waste a turn in order to uh, recuperate. Basically, luckily these guys are really weak, so they don't uh, they don't really take a. I did it. They can't take a one charge shot. But yeah, one thing, this is, I really like this game because it pretty much, uh, even though it's pretty simple, especially since, you know, you get, you can use your, uh, hyper form whenever you want, I do like this game mostly because it basically streamlines the game for me, uh, mostly. Um, it's really interesting, it's mostly since it's really interesting to see Mega Man in an RPG kind of form, because it actually seemed really, like a really awesome idea to see. Anyways, right here, uh, Plasma Energy Reploid, Night Type, Scarface, all green, okay. Yep. Oh, we got two dogs, and we got a new background. Ow. Right, how am I gonna take this? I think I'll take out you first. Give you a little bit of damage. Gee. I want to get full uh, weapon energy so I can use the uh, the uh, the action trigger. So I'm gonna weaken him down a little bit while I uh, regain energy. There we go. Charge shot. Now, I did it. Yeah, the game is. I I, I like it. There, there's gonna be people out there that's and to be honest I think I'm gonna be honest uh, completely honest with this it might be uh, you know just me being a uh, fan a fan of or fanboy of a uh, Mega Man but I really I really do enjoy this game it's more it's one Mega Man game that's really overlooked I, I don't really see a lot of people talking about it they mostly talk about x7 for its horribleness or at least like it's horrible uh, uh, change of format and X uh, and uh, and the original X games like uh, X one through four. To me, it's uh, one through three. But for people, for a lot of people, it's one through four. Um, unknown energy manipulator test model epsilon. Warning: error occurred during production. Replicant requires maintenance. This could be sticky. Two high performance reploids are complete. X, how are things on your end? Two were produced here as well. Uh, as well. One of them was Epsilon. What? Are you certain? Shoot. What do we do now? Four high-performance units and eight combat units. That's quite a squadron. No wonder those who arrived first made, never made it back. We'll continue investigating X, but we'll have to act cautiously. By the look of things, I say uh, there's something upstairs. We're going up to see what it is. So we got four powerful robots, as well as uh, eight uh, regular powered robots. It's basically the setup of uh, pretty much every single Mega Man X game. Four, uh, eight ro uh, Mavericks, then four stages, or basically fortress stages, with four bosses. But in RPG format. 
take out you. Ugh. Oh man, I'm really taking out my energy. Charge shot. Oh, it's because I, it's because they reduced my shield. That's probably why I'm taking so much damage. Because I was about to say this. Um, this is the beginning of the game. I don't think you take that much damage that quickly. Ah, but we already gained, re regained all our health back. Thanks to that level up. Alright, so, let's try this again. Disabled security in Area 3, 3F West. Not synchronized. X, the terminal on this side received a sy synchronization signal. On this floor, the two terminals have to be operated simultaneously. I'll send three audio signals. Press A when you hear the third signal. Are you ready? Synchronized. Disabling all security for La Lagrano uh, Laboratory, third floor. Thir third floor areas east and west. Alright, we did it. Heading up to the upper floor. Alright then. Rebellion Guard. Government Maverick Hunter. Detected. Neutralizing threat. Or target. X. When we used those terminals, we gave ourselves away. Engaging possible rebellion troops. Commencing attack. X. Stay on your guard. Alright, technically this is not a boss, but more of like a uh, powerful enemy. Alright, let's use a micro missile and a melt missile to start off. Then let's just use a regular attack. This enemy's not that not that much of a problem. Just use a melt missile and die again. Use a shield. That move, greedy, almost rarely works. I, X always seems to dodge it. At least in the runs I've done, X always seems to dodge the uh, greedy move. <sighs> I did it. All right, we got an X heart and a, a life up or life energy 100. Target destroyed. I've never seen this kind of enemy before. Something must be upstairs. Heading to fourth floor to investigate. Obtain force metal in battle. Yeah, 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 I'll explain it later. Or, explain it now. Um, alright, let's exit out of this. There we go. Alright, so, let's go into the Force Metal option. And this is where, basically, it's just your, uh, special, uh, abilities, uh, equip e equipping s section, whatever. Um, Force Metals work in this kind of way. Uh, the, if you can remember of any kind of RPG that has, like, a weight system, basically where, like, uh, you have to, uh, you, you can put on equipment, but depending on how much weight it has uh, determines how much, like, you know, speed or whatever. Or basically has a drawback where if you have too much uh, or above your uh, your, <clears throat> your your level of, uh, of weight, or basically. Or think of it, or here's a better example. For those who played a battle network, uh, basically think of, like, uh, the <clears throat> the uh, bugs uh, the bugs from uh, the Navi Cust. Depending on how many uh, chips or how many uh, Navi Cust programs you have on your system, uh, depending on how many you carry, I believe, uh, it might affect your uh, your systems. In this case, uh, Force Metal, when you use it, it causes an uh, erosion. Basically, uh, starts affecting the inner uh, workings of your of the character that, that you're, uh, you uh, equip it to. In this case, watch. Uh, for now, this doesn't have any erosion with it. Uh, it has zero erosion, and it can only be used by X. Uh, revives once from a, a KO with 10% uh, life energy. So that's good to have. The uh, life energy plus 100, uh, on the other hand, has an erosion of 3, which basically gives me a hundred, uh, uh, an extra 100 uh, uh, max life energy. Now, if we equip that on, you can see that on the bottom where it says immunity, uh, we only have an immunity level uh, of erosion by 10, and this uh, life energy plus 100 just has a erosion of 3. 
basically what we want to do is just reduce re uh, make sure that we reduce or not really reduce but like maintain our erosion below 10 else uh, weird things start to happen if I remember correctly there we go you know, kind of like how in Battle Network, uh, bugs start to happen if you uh, use the same color near each other, or uh, if a color starts getting into a certain line, or whatever. Um, I believe, like, you know, s weird status effects start happening if you uh, go above your erosion level. But that's basically how erosion, uh, how uh, force metals work. Basically, they give you special attributes, but uh, you have to maintain uh, your systems to make sure it doesn't go over the, uh, the level. Let me use up some life energy. Yeah, we're up to 200. There we go. Dang it, I keep thinking the, the Y button is the dash button. You're gonna be hearing that that sound effect for a lot throughout this game. Zero. Um, I, arrived at, I, <coughs> I arrived at the central room, but I don't see anything here. Looks like we came, uh, we can't, we... Can't, we can meet up here. Look, looks like we can meet up here. I'll be waiting for you in the, on the central floor. Alright. God damn it. Sorry about the language. And we got another one of these things. Uh. To melt missile and attack. I think one more turn should do it. See, he always seems to dodge that one move. <sighs> I did it. Oops. Locked into the wrong room. Zero, you're safe. What took you so long, X? You know I can't stand stand to wait. Zero joins your party. Who the heck is this? Well, it looks like I accidentally walked into the boss fight. Good job, me. But uh, looks like we're gonna have to do this uh, in this video. I'm probably gonna have to split the video into uh, different parts. Um, anyways, meet our first boss. Uh, we still don't have the ability to analyze yet. I think Shadow has that ability. But anyways, uh, first boss in, in the game. Um, you know what, I'm gonna call him uh, Megaton Hippo. I don't know, seems like a good name. Anyways, so, this is basically our first boss in the game. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is use the action trigger for now to get rid of that missile on top of its head. Because that missile on the top uh, does charge up, uh, has its own like meter that charges up uh, uh, to be launched. As you can see as well, uh, if you look at the hi uh, Megaton hip Hippo's uh, meter, it also shows that it doesn't uh, have any health. Or basically doesn't show how much damage it has, or health remaining. It just shows a static image of it. However, its, its missile does have a health bar, so... We can keep an eye on that. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, with Zero, he doesn't have enough energy to do an action trigger yet, so I think what we'll do is use a heat haze. And use a, and use a basic attack. As usual, uh, Zero seems to have a very strong attack, as almost in every single uh, X game. Um. Let's see a menu. Let's save that for later. Um, alright. I mostly want to get rid of that missile right now. But we couldn't reach it. We should have known. Yep, here it comes. Shark missile. It does 500 damage. But luckily that, uh, our, our, uh, X-Heart recovered us. Ew, okay. Let's just give him max. Okay. We go. All right. Can Zero use his special ability yet? Yes, he can. All right. Uh, I'll have X go after the uh, shark missile while I have uh, Zero take care of uh, Megaton Hippo. 
for Zero's uh, ability is basically where you have to put in input different combinations in, uh, for different moves. Yep, we only put in eight moves. Basically, you gotta put in as many uh, combinations as you can to land uh, that many moves. Oh, it looks like we destroyed its head. Uh. Actually, if you look at it, it kind of looks like it has a like a Sniper Joe kind of head. You, you can see like the eyeball, like that green dot on in the middle of its head. Anyways, all right. I'll have uh, X take care of that missile. Oh, almost there. How do you miss? Well, then again, it did go like right between them. All right. Um. You know what? Might as well use the uh, charge, charge shot. shot. Get some damage on both of them. All right. Well, I think what I'm gonna do is like have these two uh, just keep using regular attacks until uh, they have enough weapon energy to turn into their uh, hyper mode forms. Actually, I think they can go into their hyper modes uh, whenever. Let's go into Black Zero. Alright. Um, let's use this action trigger for this one. I'm horrible at this. Especially when I have to like put in a bunch of moves, it's kind of hard to do this. Especially with an analog sick. I don't know if you can use the uh, the D-pad. I haven't tried it yet. I just mostly stuck with the, uh, the stick. Let's go to hyper mode and use uh, X fire. All right. Um, you know, what? I'm gonna save some energy and just use a regular attack. I really want to get X to get a uh, hundred uh, weapon energy. So I can use his uh, special charge shot against it, and I need to get rid of that sh that uh, that thing. So I like how it said missed, but yet I still destroyed it. All right then. Looks like I gotta use uh, Zero's attack. Hopefully I do it better this time. Alright. That was horrible. Ah. That's, I like how I did eight combos last time, but this time I just do uh, five. Particle cannon. <laughs> nice job. Alright. <clears throat> Oh god. Dang it. It's gonna get us. Who's it gonna get? I think zero. No. Mega Man. Wow, that, that didn't even do that much. It was just around a hundred. Alright. Have him regular, just have him do a regular attack. Uh, Alright. I'm hoping this will finish him off. At 100%, uh, percent, I think it does a lot of damage. Yeah, 1,700 and... And there we go. Uh, oh, it's called the Hippopotamus Pre uh, Hippopotapressor. Uh, finishing Blow Charge Collider. Uh, 32 turns. It didn't really feel like that much. I guess it counts each each character's turns instead of like a uh, round instead. 
Uh, bonus uh, ex experience. <sighs> I did it. We got guard missile and a uh, fire missile. Of course, zero is uh, a higher level than X. They just don't know when to stop. I'm getting back to the investigation. There was a door leading up to the upper floor in the west block. Shadow has gone ahead to check on the upper floor. I'll follow the student and catch up with him. Alright, well, while you do that, we're gonna head back and actually save this time. I was planning on saving this for a uh, later video, but I guess this works since that means I can just post uh, two more videos instead of just only posting one. So in a way, it actually works. And infinite uh, tank energy. Alright. So I guess I'll save it here. Alright. There's only a couple more minutes left, so might as well just head into the next part. Now we still have Zero on our team. Even though he said he was going to go up ahead and, and meet us there. Hardly a fight. Alright. Because there's not really that much left uh, after you defeat the uh, Hippopotamus boss. Tank parts. Tank parts basically are, if you remember correctly from uh, the classic series in the Game Boy games, uh, there would be like uh, mini E tanks. That's basically the part. That's basically uh, how this game has it. Uh, if you collect four tank parts, you cr uh, create another su uh, sub tank. Zero came through here. There's no need to go back. Okay. For a second, I thought it meant that Zero went through there. Like he just he just went through there. So uh, that. But even though he was in our team still, and we're gonna head up to the final floor. Of course, there was an interruption. This is an hour-long video. I don't know how, how big this file is going to be. Alright. Um, take out you first. Yeah, it has the ability to gain health. 75... Eh, why not? Charge, charge. I think 75 is a good amount. Now, yeah. That was kind of right. Um, I have zero go for this one. Ooh, got a critical hit. I'll have X go... Everything seems to be aiming at X. Alright. I think scared of that. Alright then. Just like right before the door. Then after that, got our ruins. Reboot. Wasn't that a great show? I don't know because I didn't watch it, but I've heard I heard a lot about it. All right. Anyways, Shadow, are you okay? Yeah. But look. Epsilon? I like how it had no like Indeed. dramatic music, like dun 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 dun. Epsilon. It just the zooms into X's face. Army 
Well, well. So the great commander came out just to greet us? I have heard many things about you. The great Maverick Hunters. X and Zero. You truly are elite reptiles. Won't you fight alongside us? Fight for a common vision. Shut your trap, Maverick! You're in no position to make offers. This is three versus one, buddy. Oh, what is it? Uh. Shadow? No way! Shadow is a believer. He understands our goals. I'll ask again. Whose side are you on? Okay, Epsilon. My answer is... Ugh! Zero! Silence! Show the commander some respect. Zero! Behind you! Zero! <laughs> Join us, X. I don't care what your vision is. You're still a bunch of mavericks. And as you know, I am a maverick hunter. Shadow, I can't forgive you. <laughs> Why, you? You won't get away! Let him go. He will be back. My subjects, the time has come to show the world our vision. Zero left the party. <laughs> really? I did not notice. Alright, chapters. chapter one cleared. An hour-long video just to get chapter one done. I'm gonna save data, and I guess this is where I'm gonna leave things off. So, in the next episode, hopefully, I don't know when, but soon, uh, we'll continue on Mega Man X Command Mission in chapter two. What happened to Zero? Why is Shadow such an a-hole? And it, where, what happened to X? All these answers and more on the on the same. Uh, no, I was going to do a bad channel pun. Uh, anyways, if you like this part, subscribe to my uh, videos, white little button, give me a good thumbs up review down below this video, and check out my other uh, videos if you like this one. I will see you guys next time. I hope you're enjoying, I hope you enjoy this uh, Let's Play, and, you know, hope you enjoy the ne uh, next ones to come. So, see you guys later.